Okay. I feel like a mug shot. Turn sideways now. So I, where, does that go there for a mug shot? How do they do mug shots? I don't think they use a white balance card. <laughs> There's like some kind of card like below them. Yeah, definitely not to make sure they get my color accurate <laughs> pictures. Come stand next to me, my brother. My brother. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess we got to introduce the car real quick. Uh, this is a G6. Yeah, uh, I didn't do the regular. Hey guys, Scanner Danner here. Hey guys, Scanner Danner. Right here. That works. Um, we're working on a 2007 Pontiac G6 with a no crank issue, right? No crank. No crank, and it came from another garage and had some parts swapped. Dude, did you wipe your face with that? <laughs> you just wiped your face with that? <laughs> it smells like not my funk. <laughs> it was my funk. <laughs> yes, I did. That's my sweat okay, rag. Well, I've, I didn't know. Come on. This is mine too. I know, but I thought that was what was stuck no. in my pocket from camp when you were there and you handed me these things whenever, no. and I had them in my pocket no. and it smelled like an old freaking t-shirt. <laughs> anyway, came from a garage, had a bunch of parts put in yeah, it. Yeah, they put a fuse box in it and a starter in it. And she's like, I don't even know what else they did. Because it won't crank. It's 12, a, it's a no crank. dollars Wow. It's a no crank. No though, crank. Right? And okay. it'll start in the morning, yeah. but then it won't start for another eight hours if you shut it off. And then I know you filled me in on this. And this is really being done in hindsight. Um, Danner already knows what the problem is and we're just gonna walk you guys through what he found. But we have an engine code for a park neutral position switch yeah. circuit problem. Which makes you think, why would you put, put all of that stuff into a car? They must not have scanners. I, I guess. You know, or, or else they just don't or just want to scan. But like, isn't that like the first thing you do? Hey, is there a code? It points you in the right direction. And I'm like, uh, you just had a fuse box and a starter and all kind of stuff put $1, in. $1,200. And she said it was like $1,200. And she's like, and we don't want to put a lot of money into it, of course. You know what I mean? They bring it to the specialist and say, you don't want to spend money. I'm like, I'll do what I can. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I see that. So then I started chasing that. You know what I mean? So honestly, I So did, if they would have thrown a part neutral switch, it wouldn't, uh, have, it worked. wouldn't have worked either. This is a, a bad ground that, that Danner has found. We're going to fill you guys in and how he found it uh, in a second. I just want to add one more thing. Sure. Should we be careful with this customer and the money we're talking about that they spent throwing the garage under the bus and making the customer even more say who it was. even more pissed off no but i mean if they if the customer would see this video do yeah. we need okay, to worry well, okay in hindsight i don't know what other problems were there were there it sounded to me like originally it was the wouldn't start issue and it was at a place for a while whether or not there were other issues and something led them down the fuse box path don't know they yeah. could have fixed some other stuff. Right. So it came to me as it's been. That's better. We, we got to be fair with the garage because yeah, we don't no. know. Nope. We don't know what, nope. what the symptoms were before nope. the garage got it. Yeah, so I never, like, I do not like to talk crap on anybody. I agree. I, I just, it's just not my thing. So. Yes. This is just really about supporting each other and not knowing. There are unknowns that, that we don't have uh, from another garage. And, and granted, it doesn't look good for this other garage. And so I'll say one more thing. For those customers that are watching this, you need to find that garage who does troubleshooting and pay them their fees. I, I understand the hesitancy in our field to want to pay a diagnostic fee, but there's a difference between taking it to a garage and who might charge you $150 to look at it. But think about the counter to what this customer may have just spent. Mm -hmm is $1,200 that they didn't need to spend. We don't know that, but no. just saying, as opposed to $150 to get the right diagnosis from the get-go, it's not as easy as hooking up a scan tool, reading a code, changing a part. Prime example, we have a part neutral switch fault. This leads us down the right path. Throw a part neutral switch in this, it's not gonna fix it. So follow what we're doing. This is to the customer again. Pay that diagnostic fee. It's not as easy as reading a code. So anyway, let's let's show me what you found and, and okay, let's go. So, Wait. Uh, okay. Yeah. We're let's get flip around. Yes. Probably gonna go that way. We need to get the car up in the air. Yes. Nope. We we don't. But you might want to pull up a wiring diagram for this. Yeah. 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 Here, you can put this in wherever, but GM should not be doing this kind of ground because they crimp the plastic and the rubber yep and then they solder all the wires into that joint and you can see there's no wires left so it breaks it breaks after that crimp that's holding the insulation and then you have all these loose wires in that terminal yeah and it looks good because it's solid oh and it's still crimped it's like still on the crimped on, uh, the, on, on the so this insulation, is insulation th th but that should be that one there should have had four wires 
all soldered into that groove and they all broke and it's a g it was a cobalt and it was the same thing tranny code so is this the um the That's same connector exactly we think right. we're going after on this yep all right Twenty after. Someone fixed that clock, <laughs> and it's supposed to go off on the hour, but they messed something up. So we always know it's it's twenty five after. 26. That's funny. Okay. So you have you're talking about this ground, this ground, the, the G one hundred five ground. Yes. Gotcha. And I'm not sure which one because they're both black white. I'm not sure if it's one or eleven, but one of them does not have a ground at the connector. Oh, so you measured voltage on one or 11? Well, actually, I'm seeing 12 volts on the black and white wire. Nice. With the key on. Nice. And then Perfect. I just. That's what I want to see. I'd like yeah. to show them that. Yeah. And then it does show engine control module gets a signal on this wire. So it's probably number one. And then one. The one that is that there. the transmission control module is the rest of them. And so on my engine computer, I am showing a park neutral um, that I am in park or neutral. So it might start right now, but. If you let it get hot, yes. like if I turn the key on. Here, let me just run through the gears real quick. Tell me if that changes. That's reverse. Okay, it now went down to in gear. There's neutral. It went back to park neutral. There's park. I mean, um, drive. It's back in the in gear mode. Okay, and then. It's either, it's either park or neutral or off. So it might actually start right Want now. Want me to try it? Yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. So it does, but but at least we'll be able to. Um, well, restart. I don't know. But you'll be able to tug on it. We'll be able to show it, right? Oh. Yeah, probably. So I was doing that. Actually, I just had a, I just had my voltmeter hooked up the ground. Where's your hot lead? Do you have an extension? What do you need? I need to get all the way down to here. Because this one here is the one I was jumping to ground to make the thing start. Hey, well, let, let Caleb get a shot of where we are. That's the ground pin that you're. That's the ground pin that it was that was dropping. Let, out me, on. let me move that real quick. Well, in the diagram, it, it did it show the ground pin as they're showing them as black and white. Yeah, it's a black white wire. Is it? It looked like it was, you were on a yellow wire. I'm just blind. I can't see. Okay, I you see. You can unplug it. it if you want to see it. I no, I can it. see it. The, it looks like on the camera it's going to look like that too, but it's actually the black white kind of runs underneath. Yep. Yep. We need to connect my ground up. See, I was, I was over here. I'll just use the, Caleb, I'm just going to use the digital scale for this. So that's my voltage that's on that circuit. For you. That's my voltage on that circuit right now. Well, is the key on? Uh, it is. Let's make sure that we have a good ground. Key is on. Where did you grab it to make it? You read 12 volts on that wire. Yesterday, and after so, it got hot. Well, see, what was funny is I was checking resistance first. How do you get the resistance? Um, you want to go resistance to ground on yeah, that? That's all. Just check so it. we can... But can't do this upside down. I mean, honestly, it's going to read zero with with it starting right now yeah and with it um reading zero volts on that there you go so i have 1.8 ohms in that location from yeah. there um which i don't know that i i'd rather see the voltmeter okay that's fine. fine well or or we just wiggle the wiring and show i mean show what you did i should be able to see a voltage jump here when you wiggle that depending on because you're grabbing where it's crimped to that uh, connector and not where it's actually messed up. If yes. you could, it's right underneath the throttle body. So that's where the ground is? That's where it, on the transmission stud, right? Oh, I see it. Right down there. I see it. Caleb, get a shot right here. If these wires are broken right there, I should be able to make this do it. You said you wiggled this I yesterday? I and it started right up. And then, then I lost my ground after I pulled it in. Now the car was warm and I had it running for like two minutes and then it just it quit so it could be because I watched the resistance keep climbing all the way into like the 20,000 range while I was doing that yes dude I should be able to make it do I'd rather not get it hot if we don't have to yeah. I just had a change right there point not much but I'm trying to take this tape off so I can pull on the strands individually yeah. you said they break right after the they break after where it's crimped in and they solder them together. I can see some uh, broken wires. 
Or can I? Maybe not. Why is it every time you come here, this stuff works? <laughs> yeah, man, we should. What The problem, though, with wires like this is the more you wiggle, the more you fix it. <laughs> well, that's what I thought I did. But yeah. this is where you grabbed it and it started working. Yeah. And, that, and that that's is... That's where it says it terminates. So if well, I was going to cut it out and just redo it with a new eyelet, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. See where they're at. You got a heat gun? Want to hit that with a heat gun, maybe? I'm not, I'm not seeing it, brother. I mean, I guess the other thing, too, we want to make sure that our pin's in all the way down here. Yeah, we're good. There's another ground over here. Yeah, just set on trans. There you go. Oh, there it is. All right, wrong ground then, Danner. It's this one. Right here, Caleb. Come here. You're one bolt right now. All right, so there's another ground stud that I just wiggled. I'm just going to wiggle this wire right here, just gently. That's when I... Okay, well, so I stopped before I figured out exactly which ground. They yep. said stud, so I... Ready? Well, I'm at point nine after touching that one. Turn the key on. That's at point nine. Let's see if I, I actually saw 12 volts on it. Yeah, last so, night before so I it's, it's this one. And the you're making the doors. I'm making the doors lock and unlock. <laughs> go get a shot of that real quick, Caleb. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice, very nice. So we'll have to look on that on that circuit and see what G, whatever, what all that because she said some other stuff. Well, there. we had some codes for like some other modules too. Did you see no, them? I just checked the engine one. So you're not going to get to see it at 12. That's I, okay. But we come got on, to... man, I want to touch this to ground and start the car. <laughs> <laughs> but you can definitely, yeah. it's definitely this one. I can see the wires moving on the crimp. Here, we're just going to break it all the way here. I'm just wiggled it enough now that it's making contacts like better yeah than what it was but that's that's our guy for sure and yeah. then if you look at um if you look at the the other codes that were in here check us out you had lost communication with transmission control module we didn't have that code before okay and that was just you know messing around yep yeah. with the key on then we have like some airbag codes so she complained about what else did well, she, she say said the horn didn't work and she said i don't care about that and so I, we have some body computer codes lost communication with tcm yeah. Uh, airbag codes, ignition one, circuit, um, short to ground or open, uh, that same code for the passenger presence system, radios got all kind of CAN bus faults, and I'm sure that it's all related, you know? Yep. But let's, uh, I guess, pull that, pull that connector off. Oh, Wait, close. leave that key on one second. Let me see if I can try one more time. Oh, and I have only 0.3. And that might be though because of the code, because I have a lost communication. It, cycle the key off and wait five seconds, then try it. Nothing. All right, you I got. Might have broke another wire. I got 0.6 on on that. 0.7. See, I saw 12 volts, but whenever I just ran my ground, why did it just go to 12 when you grounded that? That was weird. What's that connected to? That same wire, unless I. It did just go to 12. I saw it. Are you clipped to it? Or is it my ground? Oh, dude, look. It's my ground. This ground is my. Oh, no, mine came off. My ground is on my meter. Ah, okay. See, that now you're seeing that. Yeah, I had that problem. 11.4. So then what I did, just because I knew I had a bad ground, you're seeing that, right? And then I just touched the ground. And started the car. Hold that to where it actually stays there. I well, go ahead, try, go ahead, try well, right to. Now it's not going to start. Right, we have. I have nothing. I'm turning the key. All the lights are on the dash, but no crank. Yep. And if you touch at the ground. Hang on. Go ahead. I uh, see so you, you must have broke another wire. Turn the key off. Wait five seconds. I think you broke another ground because we didn't have that tranny control module code. Okay, gotcha. So it won't even crank now but at you all. You got to see. Yeah. See, I just went. That's all I wanted to do. No, it's sweet. I'm glad you showed it. And, and the issue is uh, other, G, other GMs with this problem. Let me wiggle this wire again, see if we can make that drop now that we have an actual ground on the... See, now that makes me wonder which one was it. It wasn't until I grabbed this one, but my... I didn't... <laughs> okay, yeah. You that is... Wire, I did. Yeah. Oh, there. I just broke it all the way by wiggling it. Here you go, Caleb. Get a shot of that. All I did was wiggle this to the point where they broke it. 
and it sits behind there. So we'll unbolt that and we'll show it to you. And, and the, it's a design flaw as, as this is showing. And uh, Danner has seen this on multiple GMs and, and this was worth bringing to you guys because it's something to look for. You know, it might look fine when you look at it, uh, but when you wiggle on the connector, you can make it act up like we showed here. So we'll pull that off and fix it and get a final voltage reading and wrap this up. Well, I mean, so if we're... you can zoom in close, you can see how they, they just fold over these two pieces of metal here to hold the insulated part of the wire. Yes. And then they just smash them in here and solder them. And so they here. break right. So at... They break right inside here and you can't see that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you're checking grounds, you know, and if you want to touch this, you're going to have a ground, but the wire itself does not because they must vibrate in there and yep. they break right at the solder joint you know what i mean yeah. and this is the fourth one in the last two months of this style so to failing so to wrap this video up GM, i mean we've already bolts. we've already shown you guys the fix which is ground it and the car starts and everything so um i know we had an extra broken wire in there and the last time it didn't start but there's really no reason for caleb and i to stay here is what i'm saying yeah. we're done we got the footage we need guys look for these connectors on gms bad grounds They'll look fine, you wiggle them, voltage drop test like we showed. And uh, uh, Dander likes his own meter more than I do. I like the voltage drop test better. It shows it to you. And that was on the park neutral switch side. So what you would have seen is the park neutral switch would not have changed. Like I, I ran it through the gears and it did change. It wouldn't have changed. And before you throw a park neutral switch in on this car, what do you do? Check your grounds on that switch. Make sure that you have no voltage there we had 12 volts on the ground bad ground bad connector you know what you could crappy do? design just to uh get a little bit more for your video go What's pull that? up the ground diagram to see what else is on because that ground look, there's four wires the g105 ground so uh danner suggested the g105 ground and find out what else goes to that we can do that because we had a transmission no com that he didn't see before uh, all kinds of G105s, man. So the engine control module, the mass airflow intake air temp sensor, the part neutral position switch, the intake manifold tuning valve, the transmission control module, um, automatic transmission, internal mode switch, the backup lamp switch, all share the G105 ground, Danner. So that none of that really uh, says horn. <laughs> she no. said her she said her horn wasn't working. Yeah. No, nah, that's going to be un that'll be unrelated, but that's all the components that are on there. Well, I'm just going to wrap this up. We said we were done. We got another car to do. Uh, the next one coming up. You guys will see it. Not sure if it's going to be on premium or here uh, on YouTube, but uh, we have a Subaru that's a no com, uh, no start, no com. It's a modified Subaru. Uh, and we saved that one for last because we really think it's going to be like not fun so anyway <laughs> you'll see it soon danner thank you for this little tidbit yep. i know the community thanks you look for those grounds on these gms fourth one that my brother has seen look for that guys thank you we'll see you next time this isn't where i'm yes it is pontiac No crank issue, right? No crank. No crank, and it came from another garage. It had some parts swapped. Did you wipe your face with that? <laughs>